I love talking to people about Jesus, but I get that for some it's a terrifying notion. Now King Edwin ruled Northumbria from 616 and at the time had a high priest called Coifi. There were rumours of a radical Christian from Rome working his way up the country and had become friends with other royal families by the name of Paulinus. In a leadership meeting hosted by Edwin, he asked his team what they thought about the teachings of Paulinus and it was decided that the rituals and lessons of the pagan high priest Coifi had come to no actual divine interventions at all and so a change was needed. One of his councilmen said, it seems to us that life is like a warm room with the fire on in the middle of winter and our lives are like that of a sparrow who flies in one window and leaves through another. From winter, a brief warmth into another winter. If this teacher Paulinus can help us through those winters, it is right that we should meet him. And Coifi, the high priest, rather than getting frustrated, also wanted to find out more about Jesus. And it was on this quest to find out more about Jesus, where King Edwin and his high priest Coifi decided they wanted to follow him and be baptised. Paulinus did just that for them in a river near here, the River Calder. Now it takes a bit more than Wim Hof methods and cold swims to prepare you for a northern river, but something about those cold, cold waters revived these guys to new life in Jesus Christ. The high priest Coifi went on a quest to destroy the pagan idols he had worked so hard to set up. And when he wasn't smited by the pagan gods for doing so, it only solidified the emptiness of their idols. And because of this, a church was built in York in the name of St. Paul, and Paulinus became Archbishop of the Northern Provinces and went on to baptise even St. Hild. The minster here in Dewsbury was set up as a place where Paulinus preached, leading to the conversion of hundreds of people as he went about declaring the gospel of Jesus amongst a deeply pagan nation. Evangelism is not a Billy Graham thing. It's not an Alpha thing or a Bible college thing. Evangelism, or simply telling people about Jesus, it's been done since the time of Jesus. It's been happening in our nation since the 500s, and it is most definitely a northern thing. Paulinus, servant, evangelist, missionary, and called to the north. <laughs>